It's Scott Weddle here, founder of the Coach's Journey, the FSA Method and the C System, reporting him with today's live stream as I do Scott's daily lives five days a week and I'm here to just help you realise things that I've realised over the years and from all the mistakes I've made, from all the wins I've had and this one is huge, alright? now. The subject of today, as you can see around this video, is having structure versus winging it. Now, the cold hard truth, and correct me if I'm wrong here, most people are winging it, and it's more than likely that you might be winging it, okay? Rather than having structure, rather than having true habits, rather than having non-negotiables on a daily basis that actually move you forward, okay? Because from experience, like, when I was looking to first move my business online. I was obsessed with living this laptop lifestyle. I was obsessed with looking to people that were living that lifestyle and just creating a perceived image in my mind of what their life looked like, even when I didn't even understand, I didn't even know them, I didn't even understand who they were, I, didn't, I never even connected with them properly. And I just had this perceived notion in my mind about, oh cool, I could just work from my laptop and I just do what I want, when I want, who I want, and. Yeah, like that is my definition of freedom, to be honest, is I get to get up and do what I want, when I want, with who I want. But at the same time, that definition of freedom, if you're not careful, and this is me talking from experience, that definition of freedom, if you're not careful, and if you let your ego come in to mess everything up, can turn into your greatest weakness like that. It can literally break everything down just like that, okay? If you allow your ego to come in, that's what's going to happen if you don't have structure. If you keep telling yourself, oh, I want to live this laptop lifestyle and I just want to have freedom and you have this, you, you paint this perceived picture in your mind that you're just going to work from a laptop and it's just going to be like, I don't have to do any work. Guys, I fell into this mindset as well and I fell into the perceived notions out there and yes, still have that fucking vision to live your laptop lifestyle, to, to work from your laptop, but at the same time, what you've got to realize is you've still got to get shit done. You've still got to do stuff. If you're not going to do, and you're just going to dream, nothing will happen. If you're just going to tell yourself, I'm free, I can do what I want, when I want, and you're just going to let that ego side come in and you will not do the work that is required to actually grow your business and move the needle and that's why most people are waking up on a daily basis that are living that want to live this life and they're winging it absolutely winging it what do you do to generate leads oh well just put content out there just post videos and just do this and just do that what do you do to grow your business well i just get up i answer emails um i spend an hour doing this i put some content out there i don't really know what i'm doing so i'm just sort of winging it there's not the answers you want, guys. And, and you're... Stop creating that perceived notion in your brain about this laptop lifestyle. Yes, still have that vision. I'm not saying that because I had that vision. I just fell into the perceived notion that it was just going to be all easy and there was not going to be any work to do and all that bullshit, right? And I don't want you to fall down that same trap. I don't want you to look at somebody's picture on Facebook and think that their life is great when you don't really know what's going on underneath the hood. Okay? You don't know. That's the highlight reel of Facebook and I do not want you to fall down that trap. I'm here to be transparent with you. I'm here to be truthful with you because I genuinely, genuinely care from the bottom of my heart and I want to see you build the business you actually want. I want to see you live the life you want but I'm not going to sit here and tell you you don't have to put in the work because you do. And it's going to be hard, it's going to be tough, you're going to be challenged, right? Because the brain doesn't want to change. You're going to be challenged. You're going to have to create new habits. You're going to have to create non-negotiables that get done on a daily basis, even when you don't want to do them. You're going to have to wake up when people are sleeping. You're going to have to do go that extra mile, okay? Because when you're at the stage you're at in your business, when you're coming, you're just growing, and you've got that new vision for yourself, there's a path you've got to go down okay and that path just doesn't appear like this and everything just doesn't fall into place you have got to put in the work 
to allow everything to fall into place. You've got to take the steps, okay? And usually when you do start taking the steps into those fears and you start building structure and habits, guess what happens? It usually starts falling into place. Facebook can be the best in workforce. Um, staying on task. Yeah, staying on task is super critical, mate. Staying focused is super critical. Being focused on what you're doing and being present on what you're doing because when you wake up in the morning, you're like, you go because you're like this habits, 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 non-negotiable tasks. They get done very efficiently, very quickly, and you know that these tasks are actually moving your business forward and they're moving the needle. Will it be perfect every day? No. If you plan your day out, will it go to per perfection? No. Because when you start planning stuff out and you start putting these systems in place, you start realizing how bad you are at planning and projecting what's going to happen. You realize, holy shit, I'm giving myself too much to do, or holy, everything I write down is just not happening. Okay? Because you've got to learn. It's like a muscle. If you're starting to plan, if you're starting to put habits in place, you've got to teach yourself how to do it. And how do you do that? You get up every single day of your life and you follow the structure you've put in because you get clarity, you become self-aware, step one. You get clarity, step two, on everything about your business, the what life you want to live, how you want your structure to go, okay? Your target market, your daily productivity, actually um, organic marketing systems, you get clear on all that stuff, you get clarity on what to do, you learn the knowledge on what to do. You put structure around it, you put habits around it, you get up every day and you do that. Because if you don't, the whole preconceived picture you've got in your head can seriously turn into your greatest weakness because your ego will mess everything up if you allow it to. But if you say, I'm putting my head down, I'm doing the work, and I know that between this hour and this hour I'm doing this, this hour and this hour I'm doing this, and you actually plan in your free time, you plan in your downtime, then that will happen. Because last night I was doing planning and I literally, sat down and I was like, well, this is a lot, like, this is a lot, I'm probably realistically not gonna get all that done in the next three weeks. And I felt myself just instantly urge to go, let's just work Saturday, Sunday, just go crazy, just start working crazy lights, just go, and that's my ego coming in. And I'm like, well, do I really want to be sitting up at three in the morning doing that? And my answer is no, I don't, all right? So, and some people might, and that's cool. I respect those people, and there might be the odd time where I do go nuts, but, Back to the subject. Structure is the game changer. Have structure, have structure. If you don't have structure, you're winging it, okay? Structure creates freedom, all right? Not working from your laptop on a beach, that doesn't create freedom, all right? A picture like this on a beach does not create freedom. Structure creates freedom. Doing the work creates freedom. Actually dialing in your default diary in the way you want it to be creates freedom because you live the life you want. Okay, not working from the laptop, not sitting on the beach, not like paddling on some ocean somewhere. Literally doing the work. And trust me, I learned this the hard way. Okay guys? Now if you're wanting support in your journey into the online world to become an online coach, or you're looking to actually put these basic organic systems with your marketing, with your lead generation, with everything foundational in your business to actually move the needle for you daily so you're not winging it anymore, join my free Facebook group, the Online Coaches Network for Purpose Driven Personal Trainers and Coaches and by clicking the link in the comments, I'm going to put it in the comments after I finish this live and click that link and I'll see you on the inside guys. I am off because I've got loads to do, it's client day for me and I've got loads of calls, I've got another live stream to do, so it's time to create momentum. Make sure you have an absolute epic day and make sure you're living the life you want by creating structure. Got to learn the knowledge first. Learning the knowledge is the first step. I said this in yesterday's live. Learn the knowledge on what you've got to do to move the needle in your business. Create structure, habits around it, lock it in and make it a non-negotiable. That creates freedom. Not working from your laptop, sitting on a beach, or sitting in a coffee shop, doesn't create freedom. You getting on top of everything and you getting clarity creates freedom and building everything around that. But remember, you've got to put in the work. It doesn't have to be hard. It'll be hard if you buy into your bullshit and you buy into the resistance in your mind. 
it'll be a lot easier if you just realise you're in this for a long term game. Stop thinking about the next seven days. Think about the next 20 years. Where are you going to be and where do you want to be? And are you putting in the work now to make that happen? Have an awesome day, guys. Speak soon.